Video number three for patch 1.31. The patch is now on the PTR. You can download it, you can test it, you can feel it and give us your feedback because that is absolutely necessary to do the right steps for the beautiful game Warcraft 3. We've been through the features and maps, we've been through the humans and now it's time for the orcs and a lot of orcs will be happy and a lot of orcs will be a little sad because there are some drastic changes that could change the way you play orc. And it's, of course, once again, the Blade Master that has been affected. Two major changes. And they are really major. The first one is Windwalk got changed. At the moment, when you go into Windwalk, the cooldown starts immediately. So Windwalk, let's say, has a duration of 20 seconds. You start Windwalk, the cooldown is off after 5 seconds. So once you go out of Windwalk, you can immediately use it again. That's not the case anymore. The cooldown starts when Windwalk ends. So once you do the backstep damage or Windwalk expires, there's a two second cooldown that cannot be circumvented, that cannot be dodged, you can't play around it. That means whenever you go in to steal an item or a creep or whatever, you will be visible and vulnerable for two seconds. And the stealing magpie playstyle of the Blade Master is heavily affected by this as uh, you can't go in and out of the shadows in... A blink of an eye anymore. That's an interesting change. I think it makes it fairer for the non-Blade Master races, but orcs have to adapt. To make up for that, Blade Master got the old Critical Strike back. You remember this in patch 1.29, Critical Strike was affected that uh, damage items did not affect the Critical Strike anymore. For example, Claws of Attack. Only items that contributed to your agility were affected by critical strike. So that's back to the old crit. That means claws, auras, that stuff boosts your crit again. And that is very good for late game, especially as you can see on level one critical strike where you have a critical multiplier of two. That really doesn't change too much. It's between five and 10 damage maybe. But the higher the crit is and the stronger pimp your blade master is, the more of a difference this makes. In the extreme example with a plus 30 damage Blade Master, you have a difference of basically 100 damage. That's kind of one level or even more. So Blade Master is back to be a signature damage dealer and the, the 300 crits are back as well. So the Blade Master is more vulnerable, but more damage, so more glass cannon. Speaking of damage, the next change gives the orc a little more damage as well because tauren are a unit that is rarely seen in competitive warcraft 3 because it takes too long for the upgrade and in general there are counters available once they step out of the totem that was addressed by moving the walkers into the totem already so you do have that building and now you get a little pulverize for free you get a chance for 20 bonus damage right off the bat no research needed if you want the old Pulverize, you can of course do that. It is uh, not 20 damage that the mini Pulverize has, but the normal Pulverize with 60 damage. And on top of that, you also get the Lumber Cost reduced. And that's oftentimes an issue for Orcs in the later stages. Maybe not so much anymore as so you go for upgrades anyway, but that is a change that is supposed to bring the Tauren into meta or more into meta. There's also a little change for the Kodo Beasts. There was a little bug where mountain giants could not be eaten um, if they have no resistance skin. That's changed now. So you can eat them if they don't have the upgrade. You can't eat them if they have the upgrade. Makes sense, I guess. And the most useless upgrade in all of Warcraft 3 has been addressed as well. Spike barricades got changed. Only two upgrades anymore instead of three. And... Percentage-wise, damage return. So before, you basically returned 4 damage per attack on level 1 or 6 damage per attack on level 2. Now you get a flat damage of 5 plus 20% on level 1 and 50% on level 2. Will that change too much? I'm not so sure. I think this only goes for footmen. Range attack is not uh, affected by this. Maybe some heroes. Is it worth the cost? Is it worth the time? I don't know. I don't think so, but it's a step in the right direction uh, to make it based on percentages instead of the flat damage or one base damage. 
it's going to be really interesting to see the new Blade Master play and how orcs uh, play around those two seconds of not being able to go into Windwalk. Do they have to play more careful? Can they still roam around with a Blade Master like they're used to? Will they play more with potions? Do they have to invest more? This is all interesting, and that is a change that I'm looking forward to uh, seeing on in competitive tournaments. So what do you think about that? What do you think about the new damage? What do you think about the new wind walk? Is it the step in the right direction? Is Orc fine now? Do you have other issues with Orc that should be addressed? Or is the race fine for you now? I'm looking forward to your feedback. And download the patch, play it, it's now on PTR, and give us your feedback. Stay tuned. The next upgrade or the next uh, video is the biggest one as the Undead Scourge could be changed forever. Stay tuned.